Matteo Gidicelli praises wife Sarah Geronimo, she went against all obstacles for me. Matteo Gidicelli was all praises his wife, singer-actress Sarah Geronimo, who he said went against all odds for him and their romance. Gidicelli was interviewing a couple for the HOP portion of his noontime program, Tropang LOL. They were talking about how their relationship overcame obstacles, such as the fact that the man's family opposed it. Gidicelli was discussing the idea of them reconciling, despite their difficulties as a marriage, equating true love with a puzzle piece coming together. Love is beautiful in that way. As the TV presenter put it, saw Pagabig, Mari realized Nathan na not Teo flawless as a person, but Kapag Dumating Ong, Tao na Talagang Swak Sa Yo, Parang Puzzle Naman Young Pagabig, E, Da Pot Magchalungan Ko Para Maging Buo at Maging Isa Ko. When someone is right for you comes along, love is somewhat of a puzzle, the two of you should support each other to be whole and be one. We eventually learn that we are not flawless as individuals. He continued, I genuinely have the utmost regard for people like you who, go, against all the odds, and, who, are so brave. Gidicelli then used that opportunity to speak from his and his wife's own experiences as a spouse, while also praising Geronimo for his own commitment to maintaining their union. Gidicelli said, I'd like to also give it up to my wife, because she went against all odds for me. At the end of the day, love is a choice made by two people, no longer influenced by their family or the people around them. You and your relationship are the focus. Public interest in the famous couple's private wedding in February 2020 was triggered by the pop princess Mother Divine's opposition to their relationship. Furthermore, it was said that Divine even barged into the reception and confronted the newlyweds and the visitors. Despite this, Gidicelli talked up about his intentions of reconciling with Geronimo's family. Geronimo begged her parents' pardon for the life decisions that had a negative impact on their union. She also said that she misses and considers them frequently. Sarah has been pursuing her love for baking, while Mateo remains an active buddy and reservist of the Philippine National Army. The couple acknowledges that the pandemic is a nerve-wracking time, despite the fact that they have stayed occupied. The optimistic advocates for sustainability, Matteo Gidicelli and Sarah Geronimo. Superstars Matteo Gidicelli and Sarah Geronimo Gidicelli share their love of sustainability and optimism for a better future. The life of Geronimo Gidicelli is lived in the public eye. Both have successful individual careers that have brought them to television screens and concert halls. They have been married for just over two years. Sarah is a well-known multi-hyphenate in the entertainment industry, among many other iconic performances, her 2016 hit Tala is still very popular today. Matteo is an actor, businessman, singer, and heartthrob. Despite their celebrity and money, the couple's main passion is significantly more grounded, they love the natural world. Nature conjures up feelings of calmness, clarity, and grounding for Sarah. It represents freedom to Matteo. It serves as a reminder that we don't require a lot to be content, he says. His wife continues, it's a reminder of how privileged we are. Sarah is always gaining knowledge about the environment and actively looking for methods to promote the value of protecting it, even in her own life. Matteo describes his wife as an animal lover who transitioned to pescatarianism after viewing Bong Joon Ho's 2017 film Okja, which she calls Naka Kayak, or extraordinarily poignant. My attitude toward meat has changed ever since I watched Okja, she claims. Sarah has restricted her activities ever then. Consumption of animal products, though going completely vegan, has proven to be a little too difficult so far. Her husband advises them to be practical. Although the pair has a few acquaintances who live entirely vegan and waste-free lifestyles, they understand that making that change is not easy. For most folks is not as simple. We may gradually begin living sustainably, and we can inspire others to follow suit, adds Matteo. We must set small examples of tiny acts of kindness in the hopes that someone will take notice.
Naturally, their concern for the environment includes the harm that climate change could do. The Bulletin of Atomic Scientists' Doomsday Clock serves as a constant reminder of the potential for man-made disasters. Sarah is an adherent. I have confidence in God, but I admit that occasionally, out of fear and worry, I ask the Lord, what would my children's future be like if I had children and awful occurrences continued to happen? She yet maintains optimism, however, only God knows when doomsday is, thus all that we can do is continue holding on to our faith and do our best to improve tomorrow for our family and the future of the next generation. There is always hope, Matteo continues. The two have made a point of leveraging their joint platform, which has millions of followers, to spread environmental information. You must always be explaining. Social media's influence can be positive or negative, but we always work to use it for good by informing people. After her last live performance inside an ABS-CBN studio two years ago, pop superstar Sarah Geronimo has finally made a comeback. On Tuesday, Geronimo was greeted by her co-workers at ASAP Nathan 2, as seen in a post on Instagram by the show's executive producer Darla Soiler. Sarah Geronimo, a pop queen, will make her triumphant ASAP studio comeback in November 2020, two years after her last on-stage appearance. Darla Soiler, the show's lead writer, confirmed Geronimo's return to the ASAP Nathan to studio when she posted on Instagram that the singer will be featured on its December 11th episode. Ogi Alkasid, an OPM singer-songwriter, hinted at Geronimo's return in a different tweet on Tuesday, December 6. In a group image shared by Regine Velasquez Alcacid, the Voice Kids Philippines graduate Darren Espanto was shown with Eric Santos, celebrity choreographer Jorcel de Potsai, Geronimo, Gary Valenciano, and Regine Velasquez Alcacid. He tweeted, Ye Kasama Nami Nasai at Just Sarah G, emojis. De Potsai also shared her enthusiasm at Geronimo's swift return on Instagram. Her tweet featured a video of the pop star royalty dancing with the G-Force members to her most recent single, Dady Dady. Just a sample from our hours of practice. Oh, sure. The biggest artists I deal with are the ones who dedicate the most time and energy to honing their skill, according to De Potsai. The process is Dady Dady. According to a video posted on the ABS-CBN Entertainment YouTube channel, Geronimo made a comeback to the ABS-CBN Variety Show in July 2022. However, given that the show is currently recorded both live and on rotating tape, several of her performances were captured on camera outside of the studio. Since 2004, the vocalist has performed frequently as a member of ASA Peace Corps cast under the Sarah G. Specials moniker. November 2020 marked her final studio appearance. In 2020, Geronimo left the entertainment industry for two years after getting married to Matteo Gidicelli. In October 2022, she just recently launched her return single, Dady Dady. Geronimo performed Dady Dady, one of her most recent tracks, for her triumphant comeback. The song is about reflecting on the beautiful things from the past and want to experience them once more in the present. As usual, Geronimo demonstrated her dancing skills in addition to her vocal talents. I have Ibang Klaesang experience. I'm talking about the ASAP stage here. Echoing, Iba Talaga, Walong Halong. She said, Masarap Talaga, Mag perform here, following her song. Regarding the new song, Geronimo said, the simplicity of existence, the basic delights of everyday living that are oftentimes lost due to social media and technology, are things that we really miss from the past. Of course, as I said, I wanted to go with my Pagalunkat at the Pag Beat Conta. So, despite the fact that I am Malunkat, I always enjoy Samaya. Dady Dady Panabua Young So Doom. She made a joke about the upcoming release of the album that would include the song she just sang. Geronimo also addressed her ABS-CBN family and her followers who support her unwaveringly. Thank you so much, ASAP family, for letting me promote my brand new original music.
I'm a little bit Natagalan, but I'm mostly Nandito. Thank you so much for your support of the Muling Pagtang Gap. At SAMGA Popsters, Na Pachaloy Pa Ring Sima Supporta, Maraming, Maraming Salamat Pa. Merry Christmas to all of you, she wished. She wished the Lord a Merry Christmas and remarked, Alam Na and I Lord Yun. Habang Akoy Nabubuhe, Young Makasama, Ko Young MGA Mahal, Ko Sa Buhe. There are currently live and taped editions of ASAP, with some performances being recorded on Tuesday. Jorcel de Potsai released a video of Geronimo practicing her most recent hit, Dady Dady, with the dance crew G-Force, before to her taped performance. In July, Geronimo officially rejoined ASAP Natan 2, however her monthly performances under the Sarah G Specials moniker were all taped outside the studio. She last appeared on the ASAP Natan 2 stage in its episode dated November 1, 2020, and she then gave a few filmed and remote performances before leaving the entertainment industry to put her marriage first. If you like this video, please subscribe, leave a comment and turn on the notification bell for more amazing videos. Thanks.